morning and welcome to the vlog. Hope you're keeping well. Today we're in the Quaring in the north of Skye. What an incredible view I have here behind me. Unbelievable. This is absolutely amazing. The Kerrang is to be found in the northern section of Skye. Travel north from Portree past the Old Man of Stour and on to Staffan. Just past Staffan, take a left up a single track road that climbs all the way up to the car park. I do apologise for my butchering of the name Kerrang during this vlog. Unfortunately, seven nights in a row with four to five hours sleep each night was beginning to have its effects on me for sure. The first section of the vlog will take me south of the car park as I climb to a cliff top viewpoint that the lads from the Photography Online YouTube cha channel consider to be the best photographic location on Sky. This green loop took two and a half hours to complete. Most of that two and a half hours was me taking time out to shoot, record video or vlog. Uh, in the afternoon, I took the second uh, route that's to the north. The second, uh, it's shown in orange here. Um, and it took me up some extremely steep climbs as I ended up standing at what's called the tabletop in order to get a decent um, shot of the Kerrang needle. This second loop is the more popular route for tourists. Okay folks, you're very welcome to the Quaring. Um, it's one of the probably most interesting and beautiful places in Great Britain, not alone Sky, and uh, also in Northern Europe in the sense that it has all these beautiful uh, land formations and it is one of the largest land slippages in Europe. That particular cliffside is actually, there's a drone now, that, that particular cliffside is actually slipping down into the actual valley here. There's loads of different projections. You're looking at about a kilometer, a kilometer and a half all the way over to that far side and yet there's another probably half a kilometer, a kilometer around me. I've got a load of midgets around me at the moment. They are certainly annoying. This is about take three. Let's hope we succeed. Um, off to your right as well. I'm going to climb up that way as well because as the lads in photography online showed, that is probably one of the best shots on sky over that particular direction. And it's no surprise that they all live in the northern section of um, uh, sky because this is a really beautiful area. Not just here, but further along, let's say the ridges, you have the, the, the Hill of the Red Fox. And then afterwards, you've got the Old Man of Stour pushing on. It's very grey at the moment. Um, last Saturday it was absolutely beautiful but I climbed Old Man of Stour early in the morning, came back down. Then I went over to um, I think it's Brothers Point, the name eludes me at the moment, um, and uh, I um, walked out there. In total I was after walking about three and a half hours that particular day uphill and down Dale. Um, and I was pretty wrecked so I decided um, I'd leave it be and come back a another day. Sadly, as I was passing the, um, the querying that day, beautiful uh, sunshine, we don't have it now. Let's hope it opens up. As I was driving up earlier this morning, the sun was out on the, on the hillside and I thought to myself, well, yippee, it's going to be brilliant. But like the early this morning, it's got extremely grey again. And um, yeah, I am hoping. It really does light up when the actual uh, sun comes out. Let's hope it does. Lovely leading lines as well too with all the roads around here. Fantastic lakes, massive view from here. Um, I'll show you uh, the view that's off to your right hand side over there. I don't know if you can see all these midges or not, but they're absolutely eating me alive at the moment. Um, I wish the wind would blow so that it would blow away this greyness, uh, the actual uh, grey, the grey clouds and take the midges with them. Anyway, let us push on. Uh, I'll talk to you in the minute and hopefully be able to show you different parts of the querying, which is a fantastic spot.
I'm after coming up about a third of the way on the right hand side and what and the sun has decided to come out the midges have decided to uh, to head off and deny somebody else uh, lots of people down below in the car park they're absolutely driven demented with them but thankfully they seem to have abated what an incredible view I have here behind me unbelievable um, I've got the lakes uh, just below me it's a straight drop just there I wouldn't even like to tell you how far down but it's there ain't any coming back from it anyway moving on and further over we're getting a better view of the actual um, the uh, the querying itself uh, on the, the main part of the querying slowly but surely there's a lovely dappled light there now and looking west and yes uh, it's going to be a beautiful day so that is fantastic news I'm delighted that I'm able to show you the querying in such beautiful circumstances ordinarily somewhere at 12 o'clock what is it yeah 5 to 12 is never going to look very well because it's got direct sunlight I think the querying is the exception to the rule it shows you all these different kind of patterns that are there different textures of green and darkness because uh, different <clears throat> bright green dark green 40 shades of green the whole lot so it's absolutely superb um and and, and again lakes below me and we have a little mountain just in front of me which i'm just going to shoot now catch up with you in a minute difficulties here um, not the place to be having it to be perfectly honest but uh, I just wanted to um, I've climbed up the top of that particular right hand side the hill on the right hand side it's a ridge that leads as I said all the way to um, the old man of star via uh, the hill of the red fox um, sun is coming out now and we've got these two little our twins twin drumlins of bizarre shape and a little mountain over to the right hand side of them and further over we have the querying with its queer with its queer shape and the ridge and the needles on the far side it's beginning to light up and once it lights up 
I'll um, I'll shoot like hell. Uh, sun is just coming out of a cloud at the moment. The majority of the the plain and the flat land between us and the sea is still under cloud cover. There is the odd patch of light breaking through but I think for a while we'll be able to get some light. I don't think we'll be able to get light on the full amount, but when we do, I'm going to shoot. Um, just looking now, there's another rogue cloud. Um, I don't want to miss the opportunity either, but I do want to share it with you guys as well too. Okay folks, um, uh, I've come around to the left hand side of the car park and I'm now about to um, head off over on the left hand side to the needles on the far side and um, I consider this to be the tourist route. There are several ways of doing it. There's down low and there's up high. Um, I met one person when I was going up the far side on the right hand side. I think I'm going to meet an awful lot more this way but um, people who've gone up high on the ridge above have said that it's extremely wet um, I'm just going to stay low get over to the needles and climb up to hopefully to the table um, if I don't get there and you don't get shots from me from there I didn't make it so anyway listen I'm going to head off I don't think there'll be any doubt but I'll get there talk to you in a while very far but I'm back vlogging again mainly just to say I'm looking over at the section that I was I climbed this morning and the shapes of the rocks and the hills and the mountains and the drumlands and all the different curves and the two lakes as well too they're absolutely stunning and I know normally when you're shooting what is it half past two in the afternoon and the sun is pretty strong and high 
this shouldn't look well but my god what a you know the shadows really do um they bring out the contrast within the actual uh, photograph itself you got the darkness of the actual cliffs there as the sun uh, is not able to obviously shine on them and then the brightness of the almost like the table like flats that are on top of them um but uh the greens then are very rich in color as well and you add in a polarizer there and it, they look absolutely superb um, add in the the roads which give you lovely kind of lines some people don't like them i, I particularly do and uh, add in the lakes as well so it gives you a different dynamic altogether i'm going to stop here and take a few more shots <music> I've arrived up on the table <clears throat> it's a, a plateau believe it or not that has soggy it's soggy I can't get over that because I'm after climbing some steep hill Um, what we did is we went right around the the headland or the the end of that walkway where you could see from back near the car park and although we were climbing it the gradient was very very um, little and um i met nick hansen last night from uh, photography online and he was convincing me to come up onto this and uh, uh to be perfectly honest um i'm sorry that i actually it was no bother apparently yeah i came up some very very steep straight up uh, scrambling and a heavy bag in my back why do i keep bringing that those bags up all the time anyway enough said uh let's push on um as i was coming up i was passing different needles <laughs> and i was turning around and going oh my god there's another needle because last time i was here i did get uh, probably the most distinctive needle that's here and i'll show you a shot of that in a minute get some clippage of it it's actually further down from where i am at the moment um and uh, i was going oh i didn't realize there was so many of them around um i'm glad i probably came up here but i'm kind of a little concerned about how i'm going to get back down because with that heavy bag and um just after spotting people up on the hillside there look there they are um on a crag can you see them just on a ledge maybe okay i'm a bit concerned about how steep it is going back down and um, the last time i came up i came up some scree very close to this needle that i'll talk to you show you later and um i did have a bit of difficulty with it i'll be very honest at one stage there i thought oh my god what's happening here and i'm delighted that nick suggested coming all the way around and then taking the first uh, um first right track he never mentioned that it was vertical anyway i'm going to keep going enough said um catch a bit of energy when i'm up here etc now look before we go on this is the actual um plateau um and i'll bring you over to the edge now you can look down in a while um the actual plateau is is sinking bit by bit if i stay on this for the next thousand years i'll end up probably down below in the valley Although I have a boat to catch tonight to go out to the Outer Hebrides, so I'm, um, I, uh, I, yeah, I'm pressed for time really. It'll have to hurry on. This surfing will have to just be on the net. Anyway, I'm walking through soggy ground here as I'm walking over to the edge. 
I'm just going to turn everybody around here now, give you an idea of where we are. Not sure if you can see that behind me, but straight down there, that's the needle that most people will see. You only see the top of it there. Later, you can see the pathways that are walking down to it. I'll probably go down there and take a shot down of that. I'm not anxious to pass down by it. I think I'd like to go back down the way that I came up. Um, needle. I did say I was coming the tourist route. Well, I can tell you. There ain't any tourists up here, that's one sure thing. Um, if they are, they're not. Uh, this will definitely be my last time up here. I ain't getting any younger and uh, certainly not trying that again. I'll take a couple of shots around here. There's not an awful lot you can take really, to be perfectly honest. Um, scramble back down off of this, which isn't easy to get up to either. And then straight down, probably over there. Um, take a shot of that. In fact, you know what? I might take out the drone. Yeah, that might be an idea. I can put it all into perspective. Last thing I want to do though is have the drone come down. Anyway, look, I'm going to push on with it. Time is moving on and I'm rambling away here. Um, and we'll catch you in a while, hopefully. Okay folks, as you can see, I made it down pretty okay. Um, I'm just on the tourist track here now and should be back when about 15 minutes back of the car. Um, 
I had to laugh when I got out the drone. Um, I could hardly see the screen. I had to put on netting. I had mosquitoes all over my net, all over the screen. And uh, my big fear was that I'd put a drone in against one of these towers that are around me here. But thankfully that didn't happen. And then I dropped down closer to that needle, got another opportunity, put up the drone and took it. Um, as you can see, the cloud has uh, taken over and um, it's got very dark and once it gets dark here it gets very dead um, there you go um, what was very lively and had fierce contrast earlier <clears throat> now looks very lav um, so what I would say is is this worth a visit if you come absolutely it's a fantastic um, location it's superb to be perfectly honest it has taken me three hours on this particular walk <coughs> If you like what you saw, please give me a like. It really does help to improve the channel. Thank you for joining me today. If you haven't, uh, it's your first time joining me and you haven't subscribed, well, why not just hit the subscribe button and bell and you'll be informed of the next <laughs> escapades, adventures, and hopefully they won't be as hairy as a part of today was. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.